Each functional area of this place is framed by oak. 853 pencils on this wall. De bolo tambolo, sili ras studia sache chikovia. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Restless Living channel. My name is Christian Trambedak and today we're here in Slovakia in a small town named Benelukovo where we'll be checking out a modern family home designed by Sidnanski Gonda Architects. So this project was not a normal homeowner architect assignment because one of the architects actually live here with his partner and his daughter. The family really wanted a modern, unique home in a small village close to the city capital that would still be connected to the local context and also to the landscape around. The house uses the same main materials that is known in this neighborhood. So that is bricks for the walls and wood for the roof. But to unify this architecture, just like a sculpture, white acrylic has been painted on the walls and white liquid membrane has been added to the roof structure. The most striking exterior feature of the house is of course this south pointing facade with its asymmetrical overhang, which shades from the sun during the summer, but also allows lower rays to enter the interior spaces during the winter time. And even though this facade looks overly modern and unique. It is actually a mix of the two neighboring houses on the same neighboring strip here of land. Whereas the first one has a very settled roof structure, the next one has an overhang that is asymmetrical and it's then transitioning into this house that has a gable structure that is finally transforming into a cubic feature in the end. But enough talk, let's just head inside and check out the rest of the house. The ground floor welcomes you to an incredible open plan kitchen living area. And one of the first thing I want you to notice is how each functional area of this place is framed by oak from floors and walls to the ceiling. And it creates these incredible contrasts because the rest of the spaces are kept all white, just like the exterior facade. The kitchen is quite unusual because you can see this massive oak countertop and it was actually created by a 70 year old man in a small village in the central part of Slovakia with 30 year old machines that had never been used for this purpose before. So the countertop is completely customized for the vibe of this house. Below the countertop you have these kitchen cabinets and it's taken the cue from the exterior facade and the owner is actually using this asymmetrical cut for an additional seat by the table. To create an ambient experience inside of the kitchen, the owner installed 73 small light spots in the ceiling. And they are placed with the same dimension throughout the ceiling. So depending on the mood that you're in, the lights can be turned cold if you're, for example, cooking in the kitchen. And when you're finally sitting down with your family and just want a cozy meal, you can turn up the atmosphere by increasing the warmth of the light. The living area provides the family with a space for relaxation, but it also works as a playground for their little daughter. As you can see, there is a small tippy tent right next to the fireplace. And here in the middle, they have a large Phaedom sofa that can be modified completely depending on the need that you have. Even when the little daughter is having friends over, they can play cave, ah, just like this. Yeah, I'm not very good at this, but <laughs> you get the point. A few moments later. And as you might know, there is no showing without testing. Oh. 
Oh, I'm stuck. Oh. I'm, I'm way too old for this. Oi. When you're done making a fool out of yourself, you can easily convert it back like this. Perfect. The transitioning from the ground floor to the first floor is really something special. The owner designed this light rain coming down from the ceiling. And personally, I believe that is a crazy artistic expression. All well meant. Following these lights, this rail-free staircase is protected by 110 stainless steel wires and each of these have individual length because they needed to fit the height difference. But let's just jump upstairs. The first part of the first floor is dedicated to work. Both owners are creative professionals, which is symbolized in this wall. As a hobby, the mother is knitting wool and she's creating these incredible dolls, as you can see here. The father, on the other hand, is an architect and what better way is there to symbolize that than 853 pencils on this wall and yes we did we did count in continuation of the wall there is a workspace as a workspace is a functional area it is framed by oak the remaining spaces upstairs are dedicated to the private areas here is the master bedroom with this integrated bed with incredible views. I mean, just look at that. Waking up here with the sun rise. I mean, is there any better way to, to wake up? I don't think so. Again, the details here on the ceiling is just impeccable. I just love how the rustique and the modern come together. Next to the master bedroom, there is the main bathroom and it features the owner's little wood experiment where he's actually trying to combine oak and water and it really just gets to show how far the owner is willing to go to showcase function next to the shower you have a bathtub and that's of course also why you have this lowered window where you can sit down in the bathtub and look out on the nature but when you take a shower just so that your noble part is not going to be shown it is important to remember to just lower these blinds before you start a toilet again highlighting function highlighting the throne the toilet and an oak sink how beautiful is that it's quite different than what people are normally used to but it actually works this is like five years old and you don't even see marks or anything even though it's yeah, wood and water is traditionally speaking at least not considered as being very complementary so i think it just really works for this this space and really breaks the plain white walls lovely kids bedroom very minimal serves the purpose oak sliding doors of course for the wardrobe reading light in the corner ah. oh such a kivu petrikovi de polo zambolo sili ras studia such a chikovia ketori bavila bavili so svoshu mamku vi piskovai noru put koren mi opreshe yele Slovak needs some improvement, I know. <laughs> I just want to show you one last thing. And it's the garden, which is the family's favorite spot. Out here, we have a terrace that is nestled in green bamboo. And this bamboo is green all year round. That's why they decided for that. So just come with me here, then you can see that there is like this small in-caved terrace here 
where the family can seek some retreat from the hard sun during the summer and just sit here, enjoy a nice home-cooked meal. The terrace is also lightened up, as you can see here in the evening. So it creates this kind of very intimate feeling. Love it. Besides this, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tour and make sure to check out Sidnanski Gonda Architects. As always, leave the video a like, subscribe to our channel and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.